Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial of JavaScript, and today we're going to be doing, we're going to be working with variables, strings, and some methods that I know. Also, today I'm going to tell you guys about school. Um, It was a blast. I'm in grade 6, as you all know, maybe you don't, but yeah. It was my second day of grade 6, and we um learned simple, very simple algebra, very simple. I love my teachers, they're the best teachers in the world, so if you're watching this, Thank you so much. And yeah, let's carry on with the tutorial. Okay guys, well, just open up your blank page and yeah, just open up your Chrome page and let's type in about, about dot blank. And yeah, that's basically how we get into our JavaScript. Also after this video, I'll make a personal video to um, my experience in grade six. And if you hear the girl singing, that's my sister. Round of applause for her because she's really good at singing. So, yeah. Go check out her channel. Her channel will be in the description down below. So, yeah. Okay, without a further ado, let's get into the video. So, what we do here is option, command, J. And, yeah, we have our console. Okay, guys, what you want to type in is just the simple line of code with... um with our variable right here and then our string right here so it's a very simple and it's variables with strings so it's very very simple and now we're going to use one of the methods that i use sometimes it's called the slice method now the slice method is very easy and basically what it does as you can see in this sentence right here my super string dude it, it will cut off the sentence to make it a bit shorter and more you know like yeah just shorter so yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds just to copy this right in. Okay guys, so you guys should already cut, type this in. If you didn't type this in, pause the video, please type it in. And yeah, now we're gonna use the method, so yeah. So the code for this is very easy. And all you have to do, <sighs> geez, sorry, I'm just very tired. All you have to do is type in your variable's name, long, long string with your variable's name and then after that you just want to put on dot dot slice dot slice it's easy as that and then you just want to put this and then you can put your numbers how much you want to subtract from it so we'll get we'll get to more of that in another video but i'm just showing you guys how to do the slice method with strings and variables and maybe some other methods that I'll show you guys too. But yeah, now we're just going to play with the slice method, which is a very good method because it's like it just shortens your sentences. And I, I, I don't know. I just like when it does that. See? Super string. Super string. See? It cut down. And then we can switch the numbers on this. We can do long string again. And we can be like one one and then two u so it cut down very short just to um my or yeah you guys can just play with the numbers in this and yeah that's basically how you write the string method it's very easy very simple why well, hopefully it's simple for you guys it, it's very simple for me so yeah that's just good or yeah, you you can just switch up the digits to be like, yeah, you can switch up the digits or string. You can do anything with this. So yeah, my coding teacher, when I was learning Python, he always said, "Practice makes perfect," and also trying the code you just learned and switching up a few tweaks, and that will really strengthen your learning. And yeah, this is Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall. Signing off from a good tutorial, and yeah, hopefully the story showed you guys how to make a slice, how to do the slice method, what it does, and how you basically do methods with variables and strings. You can do other one like join, but you would have to do arrays for that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we have one more thing. You guys, I really want to get a sponsor on some of my videos, so I'm going to sponsor Prodigy today. Prodigy is a simple math game for anyone for every grade. It has math, and it's, it's basically a wizard theme. And yeah, you just have to fight off the battle 
Uh, you just have to fight off the bad guys with your magic. And you have to answer math questions to do so. So yeah, Prodigy, if you watch my videos, yeah, please sponsor one of my videos. And yeah, I, I just love this game a lot. As always, guys, keep coding, keep learning, keep thinking, make good choices in life. And this is Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video.